So guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. We are on another episode on how to correctly uh, set up uh, our Zim Apex device. Uh, obviously, if you have one and want to use it with your console or with your PC. Obviously, I will share the Zim Apex Manager screen uh, uh, with the game also. And I'm into the game. And today I'm going to share you maybe the most important thing about the Zim Apex Manager or the most important settings uh, about the Zim Apex Manager because uh, this one is really important. And obviously, as you will see from the thumbnail and uh, uh, and the title of the video is go we're going to talk about the polling rate or the response rate. So basically, the default speed of the polling rate uh, we. Uh, of your Zim uh, Apex uh, device is going to be 125 Hertz, but it can be set um, to 250, 500, up to a thousand Hertz. So it depends. Uh, uh, this uh, settings depends also um, uh, into the polling rate or response rate of your mouse and what basically does uh, uh, is that uh, for example with a polling rate or response rate of a thousand Hertz your mouse or your Zim Apex device um, uh, gives information to the console or to the PC every one millisecond so bas basically the higher the polling rate the higher uh, the higher the speed of the communication with the, uh, between the devices but uh, there is an important thing to know because um, uh, although your mouse uh, or your device uh, may support a thousand hertz or 500 hertz if that device is not constant to that um, uh, response rate so uh, let's say you set it to a thousand hertz but instead your mouse does 900 or 950 hertz then you will have jittering into the movement of your mouse uh, during uh, during uh, gameplay so that's why i decided to make uh, this video so if you are having with the mouse movements if you feel that the movements are having stuttering or if you feel that you are having jittering on the screen or maybe the mouse is not smooth enough then this is the video to watch and see what you can do to fix that so uh, as i told you already the response rate default response rate of the zim apex is going to be 125 so in order to uh, fix your problem is to set the the response rate of your Zim Apex um of your Zim uh, Apex uh, the same with your mouse or if your mouse for example um, uh, supports a response rate higher than a thousand Hertz or maybe even more then it is better to set the, the the high speeds that your mouse can support but again that speed uh, has to be consistent so if for example your mouse can do uh, 1200 Hertz but it's not consistent then it's better to go down to uh, 1000 if you are uh, having again the problem then you can go to 500 and so on so to set uh, the polling rate into the Zim Apex you go to the Zim Apex manager you go to the three dots in here and you go to the global settings and to the global settings you click on enable expert configuration as you can see I have already done it but if you open open it for the first time you will see this screen you click on enable expert configuration and you will see the response rate so uh, uh, the first one is going to be and the default one is going to be uh, 125 Hertz so then you can try uh, 250 if that doesn't work 500 if that doesn't work uh, you can set it at 1000 I have set mine to 1000 because I know that it works at 1000 so as you can see I can move the mouse but as you can see the movement is really so so I have to adjust the sensitivity to do that if you have um, enabled expert configuration you need to go and disable expert configuration if you disable every changes that you have made if in here will remain the same so they will not change so it is safe to enable and re-enable expert configuration uh, whenever you want so you click on save and uh, after that you go back and then you click on the pencil and you will go to the normal settings uh, of your controller and set the preferred controller so for the sensitivity let's do 180 for the hip and let's do 160 for the ADS aim down sight uh, sensitivity so then we click on save and these are immediate or let's say live these changes can be done live but you have to keep in mind that 
if you change uh, the uh, polling rate or response rate like I showed you before in order to get uh, the uh, the desired um, uh, the desired changes that you have made you need to disconnect the apex uh, device from your console and then reconnect it again and then open the game and uh, and see if that works uh, for uh, these changes that I'm doing in here the configuration of the buttons and the sensitivity they can be done without removing the Zim Apex from your console or your PC for example uh, I need to change the cloak from G to F okay now it's changed click on save and the saves are done automatically directly into the game and as you can see I can move the mouse I don't see any stuttering on my screen I don't see any jittering I can move my mouth uh, my mouse pretty smoothly so I'm okay with these uh, settings but for example if you are having um, problems of stuttering of uh, the mouse not being smooth or you feel that the mouse is not connected with the screen you have to play with the sensitivity obviously but uh, most importantly you first have to set the response rate or the polling uh, or the polling rate and um, I just wanted to show you another thing so if I'm not into an enemy and I'm uh, on ADS on aim downside you can see that I can do movements freely but when you go to an enemy you see that the mouse slows down on the enemy and this is the aim assist so in this particular game the aim assist in here it's the slowdown of the mouse um, into the enemy so if you feel that the slowdown is very uh, very much and you can aim, uh, you cannot aim then you go ahead back to the Zim, uh, Zim manager and you increase the sensitivity so your mouse, uh, your mouse is going to be a little bit quicker as you can see through the enemy if I go outside the enemy you can see that the movement it's uh, always uh, smooth okay then I think I covered all the things things we needed to cover for this topic it's really important to know this thing first if you have uh, said something wrong with your polling rate so basically if you have your mouse polling rate lower than uh, the um, polling rate of your Zim Apex you will get a red icon um, uh, into the Zim Apex manager uh, just below the pencil where you change the settings and uh, in this case you will know that your polling rate is not set correctly because because again the polling rate of the mouse uh, uh, will have to be equal to the polling rate of the Zim Apex uh, or higher than the polling rate of the Zim Apex and uh, you have also to know again uh, as I mentioned uh, before that if you are having problem with a certain polling rate you can try a different polling rate because at the end it's not too much of a difference uh, with the sensitivity even if you set it uh, uh, low enough so uh, uh, you have to keep on experimenting but uh, the main important thing is that the, again the sensitivity or the polling rate of the mouse needs to be equal or higher than sensitivity or the polling rate of the Zim Apex device. Okay then, that was uh, it for today. If uh, this was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also turn on notifications so uh, you never miss one of my new videos. Uh, and um, yeah, as always, catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.